Imagine hackers so good at their craft that they can quietly creep into your internet router and steal sensitive data without leaving a trace. Welcome to the real world of state-sponsored cyber espionage. Welcome to Hear the Web. I'm Tom. And I'm Lily. And you're right, Tom. It's a story that sounds like it's been ripped straight out of a high-stakes thriller. That's our focus today. State-sponsored Chinese hackers targeting major brands such as Cisco. Indeed, Lily, a joint cybersecurity advisory from the US and Japan, has recently brought these issues to light. The advisory warns specifically about a Chinese cybercriminal group known as Black Tech, who target Cisco routers for data exfiltration. And this isn't just some small hacking group, Tom. Black Tech has reportedly been active since 2010 and is directly sponsored by China's communist dictatorship. They've already set their crosshairs on organizations from government, media, and defense contractors in the US and East Asia. That's a worrying discovery, Lily. The advisory also outlines the tactics and tools Black Tech uses, right? Absolutely. These cyber criminals specialize in developing custom malware. They've created a variety of unique programs, capable of disabling logging, compromising sensitive data, and even abusing trusted domain relationships. But let's get a bit technical here. Explain to our listeners how Black Tech gains access to the routers. Well, Tom, the advisory doesn't provide clear details about their initial access methods. But once Black Tech have this access, they abuse Cisco's command line interface to replace the router's official firmware with a compromised one. They even implant a modified bootloader and firmware that bypasses security and enables backdoor access, all undetectable in logs. So essentially, these routers are transformed into espionage tools. Do we know what kind of defense organizations have against this? Well, Tom, the advisory does lay out some steps companies should take. They recommend limiting and closely monitoring both inbound and outbound connections, regularly updating firmware versions, and changing passwords and keys if a breach is suspected. That's a battleground in our interconnected world I hadn't considered. Clearly a compelling reason to keep cybersecurity front and center in our minds. Absolutely, Tom. The image of a hidden enemy using our everyday tools against us. It's a chilling reminder of the vulnerabilities of our network systems. That's a sobering note to end on. In this episode, we've shed light on the covert realm of state-sponsored hacking and the imperatives of robust cyber defense. Remember, it's the unseen enemy that could be the most dangerous. Till next time, stay safe online. And stay connected with us. This is Here the Web. Goodbye for now.